Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 store pickup module and uh, this particular plugin is also known as the buy online and pick up in store uh, module or the system so uh, basically today we'll be showing you how the web store customers for the Magento 2 platform would be able to easily place the orders and can pick up their orders from the nearest store to their location Apart from that, we'll also be showing you how the store admin would be able to set up the configuration for the same and how he can basically create the uh, physical stores and how uh, can the uh, product be assigned to those stores as well. So uh, before we proceed further to the web store front end uh, to show you the workflow or at the customer's end, um, let me give you a small brief about this plugin. So basically using this plugin, the web store owners can now set up their physical store outlets that can then be used by the customers for picking up the products or the orders from the nearest available physical store. Apart from that, after adding the products and making a checkout, the customer just needs to select the respective pickup store under the shipping methods. So uh, basically this also helps the admin in cutting out the shipping charges for the orders. And uh, now let's go ahead and let's see how this particular uh, plugin works at the uh, Magento 2 web store front end and then we'll be taking you to the back end uh, module configuration as well so right now i'm at the uh, Magento 2 web store as you can see and this particular plugin works for both the uh, customers that is for the logged in ones as well as for the guest users so uh, what i'll do is i'll just first log into my account for a cleaner and a quicker sign out as well so all right so i've already logged into my customer account and uh, now as soon as the customer arrives at this particular web store front end here within the categories as well he can see the pickup stores of uh, category here as you can see and just hovering uh mobile uh, uh, uh what we see as the mouse uh, pointer we can see the available pickup stores that are available for this particular uh, customer so from here the customer can tap on any of the pickup stores for example, if I tap here on that uh, pickup store, that's the Vans M Mercer. Uh, so basically, tapping that up brings up the uh, details of that pickup store. Uh, for example, here you can see, see that the store is open right now. And uh, we can also see the address of this particular uh, store. And we can see the uh, uh, details for connecting uh, to that particular store as well. Apart from that, the customer can see the available products within that uh, particular pickup or the uh, what we say as the pickup store. And now let me show you how the uh, customers initially would be able to set up their location and how they can do it in two different ways automatically and manually how they can set up their uh, address so as to find the uh, most nearest uh, pickup store uh, within their uh, address vicinity. So for that, just give me a second. So from the drop down, we just chose uh, the uh, pickup stores that are, are basically available right now. And now to uh, set up our location, uh, what the customer just needs to do is he just needs to tap here in the pickup stores uh, option. And this brings up the uh, section wherein uh, the customer basically can set up his location. So here you can see we have a manual location option that is auto selected and we have the address search as well. So, uh, so now let's see how uh, the customer would be able to set up his manual location and the uh, location by using the address search as well. So for that, uh, what we need to do is we need to enter our latitude and longitude within these two sections. And thereafter, we need just need to tap on the set latitude longitude as your current location. So let me enter the latitude and longitude for my uh, present uh, location first. So you can see that I've entered my latitude and the longitude for my current direct, uh, current location. And thereafter, I just need to tap here on the set lat long as your current location. Now tapping that up brings up uh, the uh, location uh, for my uh, for my current uh, latitude and longitude that I've entered. So uh, just if I just scroll down a bit, I'll be able to see uh, the uh, nearest pickup stores as you can see so here we are having these the red pin there are two red pins within this particular map and uh, these are basically the uh, pickup stores that are available to this uh, particular latitude and longitude that I've entered manually 
Apart from that, uh, now the customers would also be able to uh, the to get to know the uh, exact uh, directions for the uh, pickup location. So for that, they just need to tap here on this particular radio button that is for showing up the pickup store direction. So let me tap that up, and this brings up the name and the uh, and the option wherein we can see whether it's open or closed right now so for example if the uh, customer wants to go to the DLF mall uh, he can just tap here on this particular option and for that it just uh, basically provides us the uh, directions to navigate to that particular uh, pickup store uh, location so the customers can check the uh, store locations on the map initially uh, using these red pins and then if you want to choose any of the uh, store locations to navigate to you just need to tap here on the show pickup store direction and from that you can choose any of the uh, store locations that are pickup store locations that are nearest to you you can tap them up and it would basically display uh, the uh, directions to reach that particular uh, pickup store itself so this was how we can set up the uh, manual uh, location. Now let's come to the address search and uh, basically right now my latitude and longitude have already been set up. So let me refresh the page once. Okay, now let me tap on the address uh, bar and let me type in Noira and uh, let me tap there. Now you can see that automatically uh, after I've entered the uh, current location of the customer uh, the latitude and longitude have all automatically been recognized and the address has been saved and uh, the uh, pickup locations that are available to my uh, current location for the customer you can see that again we are having these two uh, pickup stores and uh, from here also again we can basically navigate to the uh, pickup store uh, pickup stores uh, easily by tapping on the uh, name of that particular uh, pickup store and uh, just tapping on the nearest store uh, location uh, the uh, customer would be able to check the directions to reach that particular store location so for example right now you can see at the top we have the great india place sector and uh, below that we have the df uh, DLF mall so you can see that uh, it's 8.21 kilometers from the customer's current location so it's on the top and DLF is around 11.287 kilometers that's why it's at the number two so we just can tap on any of these uh, store locations to get the directions as well and we can tap here to check the nearest locations for the pickup stores uh, within the customer's vicinity so that was how the uh, customers would be able to set up their uh, location uh, by uh, manual and the auto address search and how they can view their particular pickup stores that are available uh, near, the near the vicinity and apart from that I also showed you how they can basically navigate uh, to the uh, stores uh, that they are able to see and uh, the store that are basically available within the vicinity of that particular customer now uh, let me go ahead and let me show you how uh, the customers would be able to choose the respective shipping address and how they can choose the nearest available store and can proceed with the next step to place the order so for that let me take you to the web store front and once again so now what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, tapping here on the uh, pickup stores. Uh, I just need to hover my mouse and thereafter I can tap on the nearest uh, pickup store that I can find here. So I'll just tap on the DLF mall as you can see right now. And this displays the uh, store details as you can see here uh, with the address and the store is open right now. and the contact us information is also uh, available on the right hand side now uh, the customer can easily scroll down uh, and can check the products that are available within this particular pickup store and from here he can basically add any of the products into the card and can make a check out thereafter all right so uh, let me add this particular product that's the fusion backpack uh, from uh, this particular uh, pickup store that's the dlf mall so it has been added to the cart and let me now tap on the proceed to checkout button to make a checkout with the same order. So right now I'm uh, logged out. So first let me log into my account and thereafter we'll be placing the order as well. 
so I'll just select my username and password and I'll tap in the sign in button all right we are again logged in and uh, within the cart I can see the uh, order summary here as you can see so uh, for uh, this particular address that is right now selected we don't have any pickup stores available so you can see that uh, for the current location that uh, I've selected here uh, no shipping methods are available here as you can see with the store pickup so what I'll do is I'll just change my address to my current location that I had searched on the uh, front end and now you can see the uh, nearest pickup store as you can see here and it's the nearest one so I can select this particular shipping method and the uh, pickup store as well so here you can see the pickup store name with the uh, with the kilometer range within which that uh, store is there and let me tap on the next button now and here I'll be uh, checking this option and on the right hand side under the order summary you can see the uh, shipping is for from the store pickup and that's for the uh, twelve dollars additional now I can place the order for this particular uh, product that I want to purchase from the nearest pickup store all right the order has been placed let's uh, check the details of the order itself so now let me scroll down a bit so under the shipping method you can see the store pickup has been chosen by the customer and this order was placed and the customer had asked for uh, picking up the product from the nearest uh, pickup store location so uh, that was the workflow at the customers end. now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see how we can basically uh, configure this particular shipping method from the admin backend panel for this module itself so here I'm at the uh, Magento 2 admin backend panel so I'll be logging into the admin account by entering my username password and tapping in the sign in button all right let me refresh this page once and uh, now let me tap in the sign in button So I've successfully logged into my admin backend panel right now. So uh, after you've successfully installed this particular plugin, what you need to do is you need to make some initial configurations. And for that, what you need to do is you need to navigate through stores, then configuration. And on the configuration page, uh, the admin uh, needs to navigate to the sales section. Let me scroll down a bit. And under the uh, sales section the admin just needs to tap here on the shipping uh, methods basically and that would bring up uh, the configuration settings for the uh, store pickup itself so here you can see that we are having some uh, different uh, settings that need to be uh, set up before making use of this particular plugin so let's go through each of them one by one uh, so we have just navigated through stores configuration and then under sales we have gone to the shipping methods and under that we have the uh, store pickup shipping method there so the very first option that we have is uh, to enable or disable uh, this particular module so basically from the drop down uh, you can choose a yes to enable this one otherwise you can choose a no to disable the particular uh, working of this particular plugin you can set up the uh, title uh, for this uh, particular shipping method and you can also uh, set up the method name uh, to give an appropriate name to this particular uh, shipping method you can choose to set the uh, you can set the calculate handling fee basically you can set up your handling fee as a fixed or a percentage and under that you can set up your uh, handling fee so if it's fixed then it's twelve dollars otherwise if you have chosen this as percent then the handling food uh, handling fee would be twelve percent then uh, we have the option that is the uh, within range in kilometers so basically here the admin just needs to uh, define the range in kilometers uh, by default it is 25 uh, kilometers and the minimum is 1 and the maximum would could go up to 50 so you can set up the uh, range in kilometers within which the admin would be able to uh, provide the store pickup for the customer then we have the uh, show pickup store pages so basically you can choose a yes or a no for this option and uh, if uh, uh, you choose this option as a yes then the pickup store pages uh, basically are displayed 
So uh, then we have the option that is show pickup store pages. So you can choose a yes or a no for this particular show pickup store pages. So uh, you can select yes or no to show pickup store pages. And uh, basically the distance provider must be set to the Google map. And for that you can navigate through catalog, inventory and then Google distance provider. And uh, then you need to uh, basically enable the Google direction API and the Google maps API uh, for this particular show pickup store pages option so this basically uh, shows uh, the directions towards the uh, respective uh, stores that are, uh, pickup stores that the admin has created and also displays the pins over the map uh, uh, for the pickup uh, locations uh, that are nearer to the customer thereafter we have enable address search option so basically here the admin can enable the uh, uh, what we say as the address search for the customers uh, one way is manual the other way is the address search by typing in your address so you can enable or disable the second one as well then we have uh, the option that is uh, order scheduling template uh, before that we have the enable schedule uh, scheduling emails here so uh, basically uh, the admin can enable the email scheduling uh, to auto send activity based on the emails and you can choose a yes or a no for this uh, enable scheduling emails option then we have the auto scheduling uh, template so basically here the admin needs to pick up uh, an appropriate uh, scheduling scheduling email template so we'll be choosing it as auto scheduling email then we have display every message so uh, here uh, the admin can enter a custom message uh, for the customers uh, while the pickup is not available at their particular location then we have ship to applicable countries here you can choose uh, all applicable countries or you can choose specific countries and if you choose it as specific countries then you need to multi select the countries where you want to provide this particular type of uh, uh, store pickup functionality or the store pickup uh, shipping method and lastly we have the sh uh, show method if not applicable you can choose this as a yes uh, or a no and uh, if you if you choose it as a yes uh, then the method would be displayed otherwise you can choose it as a no to display the error message so that was the basic configuration that is required wherein we have just set up the uh, we have enabled the uh, particular module we have set up the title method name we have chosen to calculate the handling fee set the handling fee we have set up the uh, range uh, within which the uh, uh, stores would be visible to the customers then we have enabled the show pickup store pages. We have enabled the address search as well for the customers. And we have scheduled the, uh, enabled the scheduling emails and the order scheduling uh, templates as well. Thereafter, you just need to say, tap on the save configuration button for this particular shipping method. So uh, now let's go and let's see how uh, the admin would be able to add new pickup point and a pickup store li uh, list. So for that, I'll just, uh, go to the uh, side panel here and here after you have successfully installed this particular plugin you have this store pickup uh, menu you need to tap that up and that brings up three different options one is the manage stores then we have pickup store orders and lastly we have the manage uh, holidays option or the menu option so we'll go through each of them one by one so uh, first let me uh, do one thing let me open the manage stores and let's see what different options are there so under the store pickup uh, we are on the managed stores right now so here basically uh, the, the uh, store owners would be able to add multiple pickup stores to let the buyers collect the orders from the nearest pickup point and here the admin can see the already created uh, stores and to add a new store the admin can tap here in the add store button at the top right hand corner and that brings up the section to add a new store and uh, here we just need to enter the store information uh, and uh, we need to enter the store timings and the store holidays and uh, the contact info plus the address uh, data and the product assignment as well so while we are creating a new store we need to set up these info there so let me do one thing let me go back first and what I'll be doing is I'll be just uh, editing one of uh, these uh, what we say as the uh, stores that we have pickup stores that we have already edited uh, to ease up the thing so I'll just tap on the edit button and that brings up the edit section for the uh, added uh, 
pick up store so here uh, we just need to enable the uh, store we need to set up the uh, store name the latitude and longitude uh, for uh, the store that we are going to create or the pickup store uh, you can manually enter the latitude and the longitude otherwise uh, if your uh, uh, what we say is the website is basically running on a secure socket layer server then you just need to tap here on the get current location uh, latitude and longitude then using this particular button you can automatically add the latitude and longitude as well then we have the description for this particular uh, store that will be visible to the customers at the front end and then we have the store timings uh, you can basically uh, set the uh, store timings as well like is it open 24 by 7 you can also choose uh, custom days with the same timing or uh, custom days with custom timings for example if you choose custom days with same timing then you can basically uh, choose the days and the timings for uh, each of them so basically uh, this timing would be set if you have chosen the custom days uh, with the same timings then you can choose multiple days and can exclude some of the days as well and you can set the same timing for each of the selected days otherwise uh, if you have set it as custom days with custom timing then it depends upon you for how many days you want uh, set it up and uh, you can basically for each day you can basically set up the custom timings as well apart from that you can also set it as 24 by 7 if you want uh, to do that and uh, you can basically also set your uh, uh, store as close to the customers so if you want to close your uh, store someday or the pickup point someday uh, you want to set it as urgently close you can choose this option as uh, yes to urgently close your uh, store and that would uh, be then displayed to the customers on the uh, store pickup page at the store front end now you can also set up the store holidays so here are the holidays for the year and you can choose uh, from the but this particular list and uh, these are then visible at the storefront as well then we can set up the uh, contact info for the uh, store the person name it, his email address mobile and the fax as well and uh, thereafter we can basically go to the ad address data for this particular um, uh, pickup store that we're going to create so we can choose the country the state and province the city the street address and the postal zip code needs to be entered for this particular uh, pickup store that we're going to create and lastly under the product assignment uh, here uh, the uh, the admin can basically assign uh, the products to this particular uh, pickup store and can also see the already assigned uh, uh, products to this uh, particular store and can unassign already added pr uh, products or can assign more products by tapping the assign products button and that brings up this section wherein uh, we have uh, different products that can be assigned to this uh, particular uh, pickup store and thereafter you just need to check those products and you need to tap here on the add products to add those products to your uh, new pickup store that you're going to create so that was how we can uh, basically uh, add a new store and how we can uh, add the products and the other information for the uh, for the pickup store itself now let's go to the pickup store orders and let's see what different uh, options are there so uh, basically under the pickup store orders uh, the admin would be able to monitor all of the pickup store orders uh, that have been placed through the web store and this uh, basically displays the orders uh, for which the customers have uh, chosen the uh, store pickup option or the shipping option as the uh, store pickup so all of those orders would be basically uh, displayed here and the admin can basically check them and can view them as well now uh, thereafter uh, we have the last option that is manage holidays so basically under the manage holidays the admin can add new holidays or can edit the existing ones so while i was uh, just showing you the backend configuration we had three different uh, holidays displayed there and we could have chosen any of those uh, when the uh, uh, store would be uh, uh, on a holiday so from here you can see the already created holidays and uh, basically you can also edit them or delete them as required to add a new holiday you just need to tap here on the add new holiday button and that would bring up the section to create a new holiday and uh, you can choose the date type as a single day when it would be a holiday or you can choose it as a date range and then you can set it as uh, from and the two dates for uh, the uh, date range type you can also choose it as a single day and for that single day you can set the single date when the 
store or the pickup store basically would be having a holiday now let me go back so uh, that was about the store pickup uh, uh, options manage stores we can create stores we can add products to them pick up, pick up store orders this place the uh, orders that have been uh, chosen as a pickup from stores manage holidays we can manage the holidays for our stores so these are the three basic options there and we showed you the configuration as well so uh, that was much about the uh, Magento 2 store pickup module and I hope this particular video helped you out in understanding the uh, workflow of this uh, particular plugin and if you still have any questions or queries then uh, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.